There's something telling me, and the lights are still out, yeah? And, uh, can I use the toilet? Toilet's not even working. Can't even flush it. Can't even flush it. What about here? This is the... Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we are playing another indie horror game. This is The Entity Room. Uh, we have received a new job, um, which is taking care of a little beastie. Um, this is Bran, the developer of uh, Driving Home and Missing Hiker, both two great gems of indie horror. So let's start. February 18th, 1987. First day at the new section. I hope everything goes well. Yeah. I don't think we it's going to go well. I don't think it's going to go well at all. Uh, we can run, um, but we can't open any of these doors. And we've got a flashlight. Of course we have, because look at this place. Where else would you hold some kind of monster beastie type thing, eh? Are you in there? Are you in there? No, you're not. Let's go down further. Okay, now I have to preface this by saying I've I've had some shitty jobs in my time, okay? I mean, I've had some really bad jobs, but um, guarding some kind of Cthulhu-type beast? That's, uh... Hello. Oh, I'm locked in now, am I? Wow. Okay. Well. Yeah, opened it the wrong way. Of course I did. Yeah, I'm not liking. Not liking that. Not liking that at all. Um, this is our little room here, hey? This is where I'm gonna uh, do write my journal, write my dream notes, yeah? Um, just in case this thing escapes, I can call the army, perhaps? Let's see. What do we got here? Emails. Uh, right. Matt. Hello, my name is Matt. I was assigned to take care of onboarding you, so your job is actually pretty easy. The entity needs to be fed once a day with exactly one prisoner. Wow. To do that, just open the door, R1 in, through your computer. After it is eaten, the respective room needs to be cleaned. Open the door, R1 out, through your computer. You'll need a strong stomach, but you get used to it. First throw body parts, if there are any left, wink, into the container. Then clean the blood with the mop. Best regards, Matt. Wow. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this. So, this is from the ERF. This is an automatic email. Do not reply. Description of Entity 014. Highly dangerous, of terrestrial origin, bipedal, uncanny, human-like appearance, skin doesn't reflect light, glowing red eyes, body mass consists mostly of human meat, develops more human-like appearance over time, doesn't kill prey before eating, extremely agile, can jump far distances. Incidents, total power failure resulting in E-14 escaping the room and killing the operator. Redacted. Disclaimer, by partaking this operation, you agree to the, that the Entity Research Facility, also known as ERF, will not be held responsible for any form of physical harm. Yeah, the incident on the 4th, the total power failure resulting in uh, escaping and killing the operator, that's the one that kind of scares me a little bit. You know, because I'm, I'm now the operator. Maybe, what happened to the other operator? So we've got CCTV, uh, the Entity Room, which is a massive room. So it must be a massive BT. This is, the, this is me, and this is the hall. We've got Room 1. Toggle night vision. Oh, this poor guy. This poor guy, this prisoner. Room two. Yep, he's just... He's sleeping. He's sleeping, I'm sure. And then room three, he's he's contemplating his life decisions. We can't see the entity in here. Wow, okay. So I guess, uh, yeah, R1, right? That's what he said, open R1 in. Okay, um... And I guess, uh, we have to go tidy up, huh? So, I was thinking that the monster would eat and then I would have to close the door again, but it seems to be doing it automatically. I'm not liking the... the pounding on the walls here. Oh, I didn't open the door. Okay, I need to open the door. That would be, um... Yeah, I'm not liking the whole two-door system thing. Um, gives me the feeling that... That this entity... This creature that has just... Flesh as its, you know... Oh, boy. 
Oh boy. Oh, I've got some entrails here. I take it we are dumping you in that the old uh, bin over here with all the meat chunks, huh? Oh, oh no. It's a dirty job, right? But someone's got to do it. And is that what? Is that a part of a limb? An arm? Oh, oh no. I hope I'm getting paid handsomely for this job. That's all I'm going to say. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, as well as looking after the beastie, I'm cleaning, disposing of bodies. I don't think this was all in my job description. I think I should have read my terms and conditions. Uh, now I'm going to have to close that door, right? Because I don't want... Oh, I, I'm, I don't know if I can open the other door. Can I open the entity door as well at the same time? I mean, I do have a new email, but I... Oh, it could... It. Do I let it out? Do I dare? Am I going to try it? Let's try it. Oh, I can't. Okay, I was going to go for it, but... Okay, that's that. We got a new email. Matt. From Matt. Hey, good job. Looks like you're a natural. Wink. Have you checked the CCTV? Nowadays they even have a night vision mode. Pretty heckin' cool if you ask me. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, while the entity is eating, the CCTV is taken offline. We don't want our operators to be disturbed. Anyway, you're done for the day. You can go to sleep already if you want. Tomorrow will be pretty similar. Feed the entity, clean the room, rinse and repeat. Kind regards, Matt. I mean, I gotta say, Matt, you are looking out for me, but also at the same time, the previous operator was killed by the entity. Um, I don't really want to go to bed just yet. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty straightforward job. I'd like to leave. I'd like to have a bit of a lunch break, you know. But I guess that's not. Yeah, let's let's close that just in case. All right, so we're going to sleep. All right, beddy time. Maybe I will write in my dream journal now, because this wasn't part of the job description either that I actually had to stay over, right? I mean, I'm taking it. I'm doing like three shifts on, three shifts off, so I get three days off in lieu. Yeah. I mean, that would be that would be nice. And where are the damn lights in this room? Why aren't they working? What's going on here? Come on, guys. Come on. Not even a coffee machine? Alright, we've got a new email from Matt. Power failure. Good morning. You probably saw that the lights aren't working. Yes, I did. Don't worry. It's basic maintenance on one of our electricity generators. It's just the lights. Everything else still works fine. Just use your flashlight. Today will be per per pretty similar to yesterday. Press the button R2 in to open the door so the entity can have a feast with the prisoner room too. The entity wants breakfast. Don't let it wait. Wink. Don't forget to clean the room afterwards. Okay, now what have these guys done? Like... Sorry, pal. Yeah. Oh. He's feasted, right? And that's the door there. I'm, I'm hoping he's feasted and didn't stay in the room because I don't really I should check should I check the CCTV I should probably be checking the CCTV right or the room itself yeah that's the door open sorry for a moment there I thought something yeah I should probably check that before I actually um, go and investigate to clean up the mice afterwards but uh yeah okay nope there's an arm. There's some uh, giblets. The intestines, maybe. And what else have we got? Is that it? Is that the only thing? Only two things left. Uh, the monster was a bit, bit uh, starving, right? Oh, man. Yeah, what have these prisoners done to, to be left in this warehouse where the monster will just feast on them? How long have they been in here? What did they do? I mean, there's death row, and then there's uh, there's this. But it's all clean, nice and clean now. Nice and clean. Closing you again. And remember to close the door. Yeah, and we have a new email. Great work. Good job again, dude. You really are a natural. I know hearing those screams can have a negative effect on your psyche. But trust, psyche, sorry. But trust me, those people we're feeding to the entity are scum. They did unspeakable, highly immoral things to other people. They should be happy that they're allowed to contribute to this experiment. We sometimes jokingly call them organ donors. Oink. Anyway, our research on Entity 014 could lead to breakthroughs not just for military, but also medical purposes. Always keep that in mind when doing your work. P.S. You're done for the day. Hmm. I somehow don't believe you, Matt. There's something telling me, and the lights are still out, yeah? And, uh, can I use the toilet? Toilet's not even working. Can't even flush it. 
Can't even flush it. What about here? This is the... You know I'm here, don't you? You know I'm here. Oh, God. Okay. I guess it's time to go to bed. Dream Journal. Entry 2. Today I fed another prisoner to the beast. Oh, hello. What? What does that mean? What happened there? What was that? Um, yeah. Day three. Hey, day three. Not that exciting now, is it? Usually that's the point where your work is becoming a boring routine. Wink. Anyway, you probably know what to do. Feed the entity, clean the room, take a shit, bust a nut, go to sleep. I'm just joking. Haha. <laughs> it's important to have a sense of humor working in an environment like this. Wink. Anyway, tomorrow a new batch of prisoners will arrive. Fresh meat. Wink. Don't worry, they're handcuffed to our guards. We'll bring them to their rooms. Just make sure those rooms are clean. We don't want them to be uncomfortable. P.S. The entity room camera works again. Oh, let's see if we can get a little, little glimpse of our buddy boy. <laughs> All right, he's taking the uh, he's taking the camera room out. All right, well, um, I'm sorry. Apparently you're scum. You know, apparently you're scum. So. Yeah, it is offline. Okay, I thought I could catch uh, something in the act here. Um, but let's just let's just make sure, eh? Let's just make sure that room three is all empty. Even though in the notes, I think it did say that it reflects light. So I think I'm dealing with the predator here, right? But okay, here we go. Third time's the charm. And do you think something's gonna probably happen when I go in here, huh? When I clean up this mess? Oh, I got a leg. I got the legs. Like this is the third day I'm just putting tossing body parts in a container. Surely the smell would be horrific right now. A bit of brain matter, perhaps. Yeah, let's put the brain matter in there. And uh, what we got? Some lungs. Got your kidney. I don't know. It's all the juicy meats. All the juicy meats. Am I going to get this last bit, and then you're going to come through? Oh, in your head. I'm sorry, sir. Oh God. He wasn't that hungry today, I guess. Wasn't that hungry today. Sorry, I forgot the mop. I, you better not do something while I'm cleaning here. I'm just telling you, monster, you better not do it. Entity 014. Uh, yeah, it's got that kind of SCP vibe as well, uh, which I do like. Um, but we do... Like, he's going to bust out of here, right? He's going to bust out. Let's just see what else. Come on, Matt. Tell me. Give me, give me good news, Matt. No emails, Matt. Nothing. Okay, let's shut the door. And that's it, I guess, huh? Go to bed. Got nothing else to do. Let's just try check him out. No, he's not. Okay. I'm going to close the door. No dream journal entry this time. And that's it. And this is where it's all going to go haywire, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Got no more prisoners. Unless there's just an, an, another batch coming through. No, apparently not. Well, that's me done for the day, right? I'm done. Time to leave. Bye. Done my three days. God damn it, of course not. Well, let's see. Is there more prisoners? CCTV? No. Well, prisoners haven't come in during my little sleepy time. Okay. Read this. They want to get rid of you. Hide. You were fed to the entity. I mean, we knew it was coming, right? We knew it was coming. So there you go, guys. That was Entity Room. Um, pretty much like uh, Driving Home and Missing Hiker, the the ideas of the, the actual games are really good. Like with Driving Home, uh, you're in the car... You kind of stopped nearby, you came into a house, there was obviously something going wrong with the house, you had to run back to the car, it induced that, that kind of panic fear. In Missing Hiker, you were looking for your brother, I believe, from memory. Um, those links to the previous videos as well, I'll put in uh, at the end of this uh, review. Uh, I really enjoyed the concept of Entity Room. I like the idea of coming down, feeding this kind of SCP monster, Entity number 014. Um, but I, I, yeah, the, the jump at the end didn't get me at all. 
uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it on record there. It didn't really get me. Um, much like Driving Home and Missing Hiker, they have these like jump scares at the end that I feel like the tension builds up, but it needs to be done in a different way. But um, I really enjoyed this particular game. Um, I would say you probably need something else going on in between the shifts to kind of ramp up the tension. We know there's a beastie in there. Perhaps have like a kind of uh, a moment where you think he's getting esca- he's going to escape, but he doesn't. Uh, maybe have some like trivial little things in between because at the end of the day, we're just going on the computer. I like the mechanical com- of the computer. I love the kind of whole thing of uh, opening the door, feeding the beastie, but maybe play around with something like that as well. Like maybe have one of the doors malfunction just as he's uh, opening the door to like feed the prisoner or something. Or maybe even have... Um, a kind of uh, communication with the prisoners, kind of find out why they're there. Just kind of like, you know, power on that kind of emotional stuff between the player and the actual prisoners. Um, I mean, I hope I got paid a lot for that at the end of the day, uh, that three-day shift, Where, uh, but I got eaten as well, so I guess not. Anyway, guys, that was the Entity Room. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below so you can play it yourself. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.